Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God, back with you with today's Daily Dive video. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the first book of Moses called Genesis, chapter 42. Now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do you look upon one, one upon another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither, and buy for us from thence, that we may live and not die. And Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, and Jacob sent not with his brethren, for he said, Lest peradventure mischief befall him. And the sons of Israel came to buy corn among those that came, for the famine was in the land of Canaan. And Joseph was the governor over the land, and he it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brethren came and bowed themselves down before him with their faces to the earth. And Joseph saw his brethren, and he knew them, but, he, but made himself strange unto them, and spake roughly unto them. And he said unto them, Whence come ye? And they said, From the land of Canaan to buy food. And Joseph knew his brethren, but they knew not him. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed of them, and said unto them, Ye are spies, to see the nakedness of the land, ye are come. And they said unto him, Nay, my lord, but to buy food are thy servants come. We are all one man's sons, we are true men, thy servants are no spies. And he said unto them, Nay, but to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. And they said, Thy servants are twelve brethren, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan. And behold, the youngest is this day with our father, and one is not. And Joseph said unto them, That it That is it that I spake unto you, saying, Ye are spies. Hereby ye shall be proved, by the life of Pharaoh ye shall not go forth hence except your youngest brother come hither. Send one of you, and let him fetch your brother, and he shall be kept in prison, that your words may be proved, whether there be any truth in you, or else by life of Pharaoh surely ye are spies. And he put them all together into ward three days. And Joseph said unto them the third day, This do and live, for I fear God. If ye be true men, let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison. Go ye, carry corn for the famine of your houses. Bring, but bring your youngest brother unto me, so shall your words be verified, and ye shall not die. And they did so. And they said one to another, We are, we are verily guilty concerning our brother, and that we saw the anguish of his soul when he besought us, and we would not hear. Therefore is this distress come upon us. And Reuben answered them, saying, Spake I not unto you, saying, Do not sin against this, the child, and ye would not hear. Therefore, behold, also blood, his blood is required. And they knew not Joseph understood them, for he spake unto them by an interpreter. And he turned about from them, and wept, and returned to them again, and communed with them, and took from them Simeon, and bound him before their eyes. Then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn, and to restore every man's money into his sack, and to give them provision for the, this, the way, and thus did he unto them. And they laded their asses with the corn, and departed thence. And as one of them opened his sack to give his ass provender in the inn, he asked speed his money, for, behold, it was in his sack's mouth. And he said unto his brethren, My money is restored, and, lo, it is even in my sack. And their heart failed them, and they were so sore afraid, saying one to another, What is this that God hath done unto us? And they came unto Jacob their father, unto the land of Canaan, and told him all that befell unto, him, unto them, saying, The man, who is the lord of the land, spake roughly to us, and took us for spies of the country. And we said unto them, We are true men, we are no spies. We be twelve brethren, sons of our father. One is not, and the youngest is this day with our father in the land of Canaan. And the man, the lord of the country, said unto us, Hereby shall I know that ye are true men. Leave one of your brethren here with me, and take food for the famine of your households, and be gone. And bring your youngest brother unto me. Then shall I know ye are no spies, but that ye are true men. So I will deliver you unto your brother, and ye shall traffic in the land. And it came to pass, as they emptied their sacks, that, behold, every man's bundle of money was in his sack. And when both they and their father saw the bundles of money, they were afraid. And Jacob their father said unto them, Me ye have bereaved of my, ch have ye bereaved of my children. Joseph is not, and Simeon is not. And ye will, not, ye will take Benjamin away. All these things are against me. And Reuben spake unto his father, saying, Slay my two sons. If I bring him not to thee, deliver him into my hand, and I will bring him to thee again. And he said, My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he is left alone. 
If mischief befall him by the way in the in the which ye go, then ye shall then shall ye bring down my grey hairs with sorrow to the grave. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh man, um, so let's just take a look here. I just want to get a little bit of understanding because um, other than Joseph's brothers uh, meeting him, nothing like really stood out in this chapter. Like, for example, when like Jacob is going into Rachel and Leah and Bilhah and Zilpah, it's pretty, it's pretty like, wow, Jacob's going in. Uh, so it's, that kind of stands out. This chapter of the bastard that stood out to me was um, Joseph seeing his brothers again. And they didn't recognize Joseph when they went to Egypt to buy corn because of the famine. That's pretty fascinating. Um, let's go ahead and just, I'll take an understanding here. Um, so Jacob sends his 10 oldest sons. Yeah. So now they, they uh, bow low to um, Joseph, the brothers, because they need his grain that he um, amasses for Pharaoh because of his uh, prophetic abilities. Um, uh, which one uh, again it's very important it's very important to acknowledge that uh that there is some relationship as one of my titles is the spirit of prophecy again genesis 41 38 to keep the truth it's very important to say this and pharaoh said unto his servants can we find such a one as this in a, ma a man in whom lord Naren white is so that interpretation of dreams of course i when i sleep i mentioned in the gospel according to lord Naren white chapter 7 my divine powers i see different possibilities of uh, the future uh, for example, one of these I've mentioned is that when the S&P 500 reaches 5,000, I'm going to um, think about buying a home. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, so it's definitely pretty fascinating stuff. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Egypt. Uh, so, yeah, okay. So he goes there, arriving the brothers. On, this is just one of the small ones, for example. I've seen a lot of different uh, dreams. So, uh, yeah. So Joseph uh, tells them, bring the youngest brother, or he will say that they're spies. And he throws them in prison for three days. And he sends eventually nine of them back with the grains. And one of them stays. And in the end, and then uh, Jacob uh, shows uh, favoritism. Uh, favoring uh, Benjamin, which is crushing for the other sons. And while the famine will not be over soon, Jacob will have to reconsider his stance, uh, pretty much because uh, he does still have Simeon, uh, one of the brothers, in prison. In prison so uh, Joseph does. So yeah, family troubles for sure. Um, definitely very powerful stuff. And uh, with that, I want to go ahead now and uh, transition over to what I have achieved uh, since yesterday's Daily Dive video. And since yesterday's Daily Dive video, um, I'll put it on schedule World core workout video from 5-5-22. I'll put it on schedule Daily Dive video from 5-5-22. I followed up on the apartment work. I worked my software developer job. I also played uh, two more games of Squadron TD, and I've created this Daily Dive video. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Dive video, um, I'll go ahead before I close out I let you know that I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling consistent. Um, looking to continue making progress. And so, yeah. Um, uh, wh by the way, regarding my dreams, actually the most one of the most notable ones is the parable of the leaky roof comes from uh, a dream showed to me uh, by God when I sleep. So yeah, very, very, very powerful wisdom there. Um, uh, that parable, uh, it, com it comes from one of those dreams. So it's very, very cool stuff. And with that, I want to go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll end the video here. I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as it greatly helps the channel. 
light be with you all. Take care, friend. Thanks again.